All right, welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're jumping right into a really fascinating book by Roy J. Anderson called Brain Plasticity. And let me tell you, it puts forward this pretty radical new idea about where our intelligence really comes from. And this is the big question the book kicks off with. You know, it really makes you stop and think to reconsider everything you thought you knew about learning about human potential. It's basically asking us to look past all the usual answers. Okay, so to really get what this book is all about, you first have to understand the two big competing ideas it presents. It's kind of like an old debate, but Anderson throws a really interesting new twist into the mix. So on one side, you've got the traditional view. Think of the brain as computer hardware, right? The structure is what it is, it's fixed, and that's what determines your IQ. Game over. But Anderson's idea, it just flips that whole thing on its head. He says, no, the mind is actually the sculptor here. It's actively shaping the brain, carving out these neural pathways. And that means intelligence isn't fixed at all. It can be molded, it can grow. Okay, so if intelligence isn't this static thing, then what is it? Let's dive into the core theory of the book. This is the heart of it right here. The big idea is that intelligence is not some fixed trait you're just born with, like, say, your eye color. Nope. The book argues it's a, a living, breathing, dynamic process, something that's constantly being shaped, nurtured, and expanded all the time throughout your whole life. But how? I mean, how does that actually work? Well, the book lays out a specific biological process to explain this pretty incredible idea of growth. And this is where the book's definition of brain plasticity becomes so important. Look, this isn't the brain just passively adapting to stuff. It's an active process. Your mind is literally the construction manager directing the creation of new neural pathways. I mean, the actual wiring for learning. And this is huge. Our emotions, they're like the gas pedal or the emergency brake in that whole process. So, the book breaks this down into four steps. It all kicks off with our thoughts and our feelings. That's the spark. Then, that spark actually triggers the physical creation of new neural networks in your brain. And those new pathways, they become the very foundation for learning. And according to this theory, that whole cycle, that's intelligence. Okay, so, so what? Why does any of this matter in the real world? Well, if this theory is right, the implications are absolutely massive. Especially if you're a parent, a teacher, really anyone interested in learning. And you don't have to take my word for it, the praise from academics is pretty intense. I mean, listen to this. A professor of pedagogy calls it the most important book I have ever read about a child's intelligence. Wow, that is, that's a huge statement. And it doesn't stop there. You've got a dean emeritus from a university in Washington, D.C. calling this whole thing a real breakthrough. And he stresses that this is basically a must-read for every single parent and educator out there. And this really gets to the point. This isn't just some abstract theory for a textbook. It's a call to action. The whole idea is to inspire real, tangible change in how we actually raise and teach kids. So if you were to pick up this book, what would you actually get out of it? Well, it promises some really solid takeaways. You know, how emotions drive brain development, the real science behind getting smarter, why those old school ideas about IQ are just obsolete, and maybe most importantly, actual practical things parents and teachers can do. But the author doesn't just stop at the individual level. He takes all these ideas and scales them up into this, this grand vision for the future of education as a whole. And people who are on board with this, they're calling it revolutionary. Some are even saying it goes beyond the work of famous thinkers like Howard Gardner because it gets right to the very, very root of how we learn. At the end of the day, the book is trying to be a blueprint for a total transformation. The goal is to completely rethink and redesign education. Why? To get our kids ready for a future that's going to be defined by huge challenges like, you know, artificial intelligence. So there you have it. The book lays out this vision of a world where your intelligence isn't some score you're stuck with. It's this incredible, ever-expanding thing that's shaped by your own mind. Which leaves us with one last, pretty mind-blowing question to chew on. If intelligence really isn't fixed, then what's the true potential of the human mind? If you'd also like to read Roy's book, Brain Plasticity, How the Brain Learns Through the Mind to Create Intelligence, it is now available on Amazon Worldwide. Thank you for your time.